KGUN 9 On Your Side Sports. Hi and welcome to Football Friday Night. It's week seven. I'm Jason Barr. And I'm Erica Weston. The 2017 season has produced some top matchups and tonight is no different. Yeah, Push Ridge Christian is undefeated. The 6-0 Lions are looking like that 2015 team that ended up winning the state championship. And meanwhile, 5-1 Sabino hasn't given up any points in over a month. These two teams tonight, though, they have very different approaches. Sabino with the air attack and Push Ridge on the ground. First quarter. Opening drive for the Lions. Christian Fetzes fakes the handoff as he hangs onto it to make his way over the goal line. The extra point was no good. Lions up early 6 0. Fans love Christian Fetzes, but Sabino <laughs> is quick to answer back. Sabercats first drive. Bell hits Bennett, Nottingham in the flat as he scampers in for the score. He nailed the extra point, too. Sabino up 7 6. Second quarter now. Following a Sabino fumble, Pushridge takes advantage with another touchdown, this time courtesy of Dakota Haynes. Pushridge stays undefeated, topping Sabino 44-7. to Walden Grove is off to its best start in its brief history. The 5-1 Red Wolves at 5-1 South Point. First year Walden Grove coach Corey Noble looking on. But South Point's Bijan Robinson is back from that injury last week. He scores to make it 7-0. And then here, no sign of any twisted ankle. This makes it 14-0 South Point. Lancers looking good. Walden Grove needing to make something happen. Check this out. Nick Flores to Chai Chapman. Looks like one of the U of A's plays. Chapman makes a move, headed towards the end zone, but loses the ball. That's okay. <laughs> Bernie Zavala picks it up and scores. That's a touchdown, but too much sell point. Mario Padilla with a TD run. Lancers win big 55-7, improving 2-6-1. They look good. Next up, a matchup of Southern Arizona's top two passers. Toya's Jordan Porter and Moranis Trenton Bourget have combined for 3,800 yards and 43 touchdowns. To the west side we go. The Choya cheerleaders doing their best to support the fight against breast cancer. K-Gun 9 very strong in that fight as well. No score in the first quarter. This is the Tigers Borgay to Tion Simmons to make it 7-0. One of five touchdown passes on the night for Borgay. Morana also getting it done on the ground. Renee Valenzuela with a TD run that makes it 14-0. Still in the first, it's Valenzuela again. Morana 52-6, a little bit of a surprise there. The Tigers are now 5-2 on the season. All right, Empire facing Catalina tonight. The Ravens hungry for a win after losing 56-14 last week to Pushridge. Picked this one up in the second quarter, 19-14 Empire. Malik Martin hits Leon Hayes there. They pick up the first down, but they couldn't get a score. Later in the second, QB Alex Verdugo, Verdugo hands it off to Isaiah. Tavakolian breaks through the nice run, but he fumbles. Catalina takes over a few plays later. Martin again with the short pass to Alexander Payne as he picks up a 40 yard gain. Look at those juke moves, but again, Catalina couldn't capitalize. And Empire here finally gets another score on the board. Verdugo to Jalen Smith with a long touchdown run, taking a page out of Shun Brown's book with that spin move. Empire wins it 41 to 14. The bombs bursting. Congresswoman Martha McSally singing the national anthem before the Sienega Bobcats game at Saguaro. The Cougars trying to hand Sienega its first loss of the season. Opening drive, Thomas Webb Jr. finishes off for Sienega with the one yard TD run, 7 0. Next Bobcat possession, Jamari Joyner, the future on a Wildcat. This is a pretty ball. He puts it up, and Terrell Hayward brings it down. This is inside Saguaro territory. And to finish it off, they go back to Webb Jr. He also had an interception in the first quarter of this game. Uh, this is his second touchdown. And uh, Sienega wins big tonight over Saguaro. All right, let's switch it up. Talk some baseball playoffs. The Diamondbacks at the Dodgers in game one of their National League Division Series. Arizona's Taiwan Walker got roughed up early on in this one. He was removed after only one inning, giving up four runs in that first. Right now, the Dodgers lead. The Diamondbacks 7 to 4. Justin Turner hit three home runs in the first. The Diamondbacks went back to back, though, in the seventh inning off of Clayton Kershaw. That seventh inning curse still lingers for Kershaw. Robbie Ray will pitch game two for the Diamondbacks tomorrow night. But, Jason, there is still a lot of series left. A little bit of game left, too. Dodgers still need to get six more outs. Yeah. In, this, yeah. in other MLB postseason games tonight, the Astros, Cubs, and Indians all won. But Yankees fans sick over the loss to Cleveland tonight. I actually one of those fans and it's U of A football at Colorado tomorrow evening. The Wildcats and Buffalo is looking for their first Pac-12 win. Guy.